Hello, Tuta here, coming in to Dragon Switch Park, you another video. We are back. A storm took out my <laughs> internet, but man, it was a bad one too. It was it was going by. I was about to repair, and then I was starting. Internet, thump down goes. Ah, and I was about to do a live stream fault, but we all know how excited I am for that one. Oh boy, fault three, and I can't wait for fault three. Silence of the what is it? Silence of the pendant. Yeah, silence, silence the pendant. Yeah, silence the pendant, 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 pendant. <laughs> Never mind, don't, yeah. Okay, well, now that's, I gotta connect to Steam and all that crap. Forgot about that, because I had to restart my computer, and then this, and then yada yada, 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 yada yada, yada, and all that stuff. <laughs> and you don't want to hear that. And so I just get up Steam, fall, uh, low it. Okay, sorry about that. I accidentally clicked the hotkey that that toggles the recording. But yeah, we're back on fault. Woohoo! I'm so excited. Dun, dun. <laughs> Ooh, that's loud. That loud for you guys? Yeah, I just checked that. That's loud, that's loud. Okay, I'm gonna turn that down just a bit. Ah, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soundtrack of Fault comes again. Uh, Mr. Loic here wants me to do a live stream of Men of War instead of Fault 2. Well, look, Fault 2 is a hell of a lot better than Men of War. My apologies. <laughs> Not really, because I speak this the truth. <laughs> wow. There we go. I haven't even played a single... Ah, I haven't played any bit of it, so... Let's get started. Let's just... Let's just go right in. Three, two, one, start. Oh yeah, this part. This is a bit dramatic. Previous. Come on. Previously on Vault. That's a bit dramatic. Seems like something that would be in Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, but this was the part I reached before my whole internet just went. <laughs> Rosenheide has fallen. I'm so looking forward to the third one because the third one's actually a point and click game. You actually click, you actually do stuff in that one. I think, I hope, I don't know. I just downloaded the demo. I'm him. I can't wait to take a look at that demo. But I, I'm, no, you know what? No, no demo. We're going in blind on the third one, just like we did with the second one. Oh, I'm just so excited! I think this thing is messed up here. There we go, fixed it! It was stuck on the main screen. Don't know why. Oh wow. It's stuck on the main screen. I didn't get a chance to read that. Oh yeah, even cut up. What? Oh yeah, I remember. I remember now. Selfine freaking lost her mind. She lost her mind. I for I forgot about that. Yeah, she lost her mind. Chapter one, the Ringo Rene. I still have no idea how to pronounce her last name. <laughs> okay. Let's see if, of course, we go to the encyclopedia. Let's see, encyclopedia is the same. Encyclopedia is the same. 2000 SPS. Is that too loud? Yeah, that seems to be a bit too loud for you guys. 
I didn't even have a chance. I just jumped right in here. Okay, there we go. Fix that part. Oh. Wait. Didn't you hear me? Constrain her immediately with that magic lock of your, or magic of yours. Magic. Why does it say magic lock? M m magic. You know, the kind you use to slaughter that in Oh Oh whoa, okay. <laughs> you know, the kind you used to slaughter that tribe before? Don't tell me you forgot then. Well this is interesting. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Magic. You'll name a mana craft. Don't tell me. Start with the right leg, sever it, but don't kill her. I'll stop the bleeding. Don't hold back. That's not the issue here. This land is devoid of mana. If I use a battlecraft of that level, my my body couldn't take it. I'm terribly sorry, Celestine. But using such battlecraft in this situation is... Tch, that's princess to you. Justine grumbles. Took me out by storm. Eh? I told you to address me as princess, you imbecile. Uh, who am I? Tell me. Who am I? Who? I'm the ninth passed down successor of the glorious kingdom of Rosenheide, Princess Celestine Rosenheide. Don't tell me. And I still have no idea how have the pronounce name, so I'm just gonna whenever it says her last name or or her whatever name, I'm just gonna call her Ratona. Ratona, who are you? Ma'am, I am the uh, the royal guardian of Princess Rosenheim. Ma'am. What? With valor absent, I'm I'm the very will of Rosenheim, and you are the sword and shield that will carry it out. Or you to cower in fear in the presence of an enemy. Such insolence. Know your place. Ma'am. Those those symptoms indicate a disturbance in mana. Emperor syndrome? What? This is interesting. What? Emperor syndrome. This is the first time I Oh, it's it's Milano. Milano. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen the predecessor's personality show this distinctly. Oh, wait. She's a girl. So, would Empress Syndrome be more fitting? Damn. For her to display signs of Empress Syndrome at a time like this. And that tone of voice. That personality. This is unmistakably. Lady. Brian? 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? Of Reagan, uh, bloodthirsty by the citizens, she was the cruelest, most ruthless king queen uh, in all of Rosenheim's history among the ninth generation of the path down. Well then, this seems like a syndrome we don't want to have. The timing couldn't be any worse. You may want to reconsider. You may want to reconsider this over-friendly approach of yours, eh? Ratona, my apologies, princess. <laughs> if this girl is saying is true, though, then perhaps you should call me queen instead. Something weird is happening to Sally. It really does change the person, eh? A truly fascinating phenomenon. The Vites girl. The Vites girl. Stop dwelling around and stand at attention, why don't you? Rune! You... Who are you? What have you done with Sally? Now, Milena was it? Let's get down to business. Did you really kill Valor? Hmm? <laughs> don't be silly. Of course I was kidding. That's... I said that because you wouldn't listen to me otherwise. It was just a little joke. Is that so? Then, one final question. 
What do you people want? Why did you attack Rosenheim? Why? It looks like she's got the upper hand here. Typical of someone older. I can't get a word in edgewise. Answer truthfully. If you do, your death will be quick and painless. You have the word of a Rosenheim. <laughs> well, aren't you scary? Hmm. Our objective. Huh. Well, basically, it's to kill you, Princess Silky. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is this is going to get in interesting. Really, really, really interesting. I can't wait. Okay, well, technically, we don't have to kill you. But really, is there any other way to play stop to a country's ability to pass down? I see. Yeah, so I've got a little proposition for you, Miss Princess. Could you, you know, just not... We would never accept such a... <laughs> Another one of your jokes? If we did that, then you would simply go after the next successor, would you not? I believe that's called... Hip... Hip... Eh... Hip... Eh... Eh... Blah 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 blah... Hip... Prophecy? Eh... I... God, why can I not say that name? Or not the name, word, I know the word, hypocrisy, yeah. <laughs> Good point. You're already too deeply rooted into that system you call an alliance. There is any there isn't any point in living if you aren't part of it, right? Again, you beat around the bush. Moving on. What's wrong? Why aren't you going to come at me? From the very beginning, this couldn't end in anything but bloodshed. That's true. This whole time. Then, it's about time we put an end to this fierce, farce, encounter. Is it me or- oh no, it's just the edges, okay. This whole time, I've been gathering mana. This is the third time now, Tona. Off with her right leg! Just for this very moment. <sighs> Lady Selfie's long-winded speech was nothing more than stalling time for me. For me to let this chance slip by would be sullying the name of Princess. Do it! <laughs> uh, we need, um, Chancellor Palpatine right there. Do it! Damn, looks like I have no choice. Final synergy of mana, aqua, aerial, manifest outside of my body. Dump. I hear a dull sound and my nerves were ripped right out from me. The moment I felt a burning sensation, I was suddenly engulfed in a bone-chilling cold. My body goes numb. I can feel the hazy concept that is my own lifespan getting shorter. Ah, uh, this is seriously rough. Activating this craft in an area filled with mana is already taxing enough, especially something of this level. Impressive, this girl. Being able to synergize this well with only her inner mana. Oh! Perhaps realizing something was off, Milano quickly... Milano quickly shifted her gaze to her right thigh. You know it is too late. Fragments have already began, had already gathered. Magnetize, ugh. Magnetized fragments of obsidian tightly bound her right knee. Glass shower. Heavy rain. Ooh. Next moment, Milano dashes away. What is this? No, that's just ridiculous. Is this a dream? At a speed which I can barely perceive, Milano evades the heart of pale of shade of the sharks. She's not human. Heavy rain may seem complex, but blessing it is actually quite simple. Transiting shards are created from mana in the committed area, which are used as a hail of blades. Oh my god! I can control the shards created by mana or use 
magnetize the city to concentrate the hell charge onto a single part. Oh my god, this thing is deadly. Holy shit, no wonder why she used that tool. Wow, this is dumb. There's no other choice for me to use this. A merciless, inhumane craft I developed solely for the slaughter of humans. Well then, this this definitely took a turn. Why? What is up with me in in watching and reading and playing stuff that is so violent? I mean, this isn't violent, but it's implied that Ratona, I use this to just cut down hordes and hordes and hordes of people. Oh my god! Oh my! I can't avoid this tag. Whoa! 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 What the? In a split second. Milano disappears, completely avoiding the shard, the rain of shards, leaving nothing but an after image. She's gone. Where did she go? What just happened? Redona, behind you and above you! Moon was able to track her? She's all the way up there. How did you. No matter. However, no matter where you run, heavy rain shards will continue to be drawn towards the magnetic obsidian. There is no escape. I've got you! Uh, I can't bear to watch! Oh, permission revoked. Okay, well, at least it's not going to show us her, her leg getting impaled by a bunch of shards and they just, like, getting... Okay, well, at least that isn't going to... Ooh, that can't... Oh, that can't be good. Um... Eh? Oh my! Oh wow! <laughs> you really could turn someone into a fine red mist with that glass rain of yours. Interesting! Very interesting! So who the hell are you? <laughs> what? The, the shards! The shards aren't piercing her! The hail of shards that had been flying towards Milano had become embedded in the obsidian and on her leg and knee, frozen in place! Those shards should pierce right through the obsidian, turning her leg into mincemeat. Oh my god. Wow, ow, that hurts my leg thinking about that. Talk about jumping through a glass door with it, without that safety glass, but that glass that breaks and just shatters everywhere with sh big chunks of glass. Oh my god. Wow. Well, definitely, uh, you could definitely slice and dice, though. <laughs> Not even a tear on her clothes. What's going on? Did I make a mistake in did I make a mistake in my craft? N no, that can't be it. The shards that checked after Milano had clearly turned the trees around her into shavings. 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 So then why? Just what happened? Ooh. Music. Princess Selphine. This game has such an awesome soundtrack, my god. Princess Selphine. I can now see where you stand in all this. You could apprehend or just outright kill him by doing so. And by doing so, you stop our attacks against... I forgot how to pronounce this one. Santa... Santa... Right? Let's go check. Location... Local. Santa... Urezda. Santa Urenzda. Rezda. Santa Urenzda. Whatever. Boom. 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 Wow, what is going on? And on top of that, you could bring back the head of the mastermind behind that night raid on your country. Two birds with one stone, right? But know this. I'm already beyond the level of winning or losing. So when you fight me, you're better off accepting the fact that you have no say in the matter. Because I'm... Um... Omni... Omnipotent? Omnipotent? What? Omnipotent? What the heck is that? Someone mind telling me what the heck that is? Omni om omnipotent? Omnipotent? Is there... What is that? There, there, there's the heavy rain. Classified! <laughs> no, there's no omnipotent. Oh well. Does a person like that even exist? I've had nothing but meaningless banter from you. Get to the point. Is talking all you can do? 
Yes, well... I suppose you'd understand sooner if y'all... If I had you die once? Ah, thank you, John! Wait, I suppose you'd understand sooner if I had you die once? Uh... <laughs> I don't want to click continue. I don't want to click continue. Oh, uh, here we go. Whoa, 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 what the? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Don't snap, don't snap, don't snap, don't s What the? Oh. What the hell? Mana vision? Holy shit. Um, what the f- uh, what, what, whoa, 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 okay, I- It just quit out, it just quit me out, it just quit me out. Okay, it just quit me out, I just got quit out of the game. Oh no, it's back up, it's back up. That was weird. <laughs> I gotta go back to full screen. That is extremely weird. Okay, the <laughs> Okay, I think I th was I supposed to do something there? Uh <laughs> She's looking achievement unlock. Are you listening? Oh my god. She's looking right at us. Or right at me, at least. Oh my god. Okay. Um. <laughs> there's an undo button. Should I click that? <laughs> let's let's click it. Whoa. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh wow. Wow. Um Okay. Let's Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. There won't be an Oh, like it's Milano. Okay, I got to do her voice, but I just got to figure out how the what the hell just happened. <laughs> So she literally... The, <clears throat> okay. There won't be an undo next time, though. Got it? What the hell just happened? <laughs> what? I guess so. <laughs> that was part of the game. It sure fooled me. <laughs> God damn. Let's just... Okay. Let's pretend that didn't happen. And let's just continue on with the game. You know, I actually have one question. Who the hell are you, Malone? Malo Who the hell? What the hell are you? You just... God, I'm afraid. I don't want to get... I don't want to... I don't want to see right now. Well, I do want to... I, I just... Uh, 404, brain not found. <laughs> 404. Too tall, I just stopped working. Reboot or bat on top of the head with a stick. <laughs> just... Happened. My experience tells me that we were blinded. There was a blinding bright light for just a moment. We were mowed down by hellfire so hot there were no words to describe it. We died. Lady Selphine, Rune, and I. Hertz Von, Alblast. Rudu? Everyone in Kadia City? Everyone in the Outer Pool? Was completely erased from the planet. Oh uh, well, shit, looks like they found out about thermonuclear warfare. <laughs> oh, that was dark, I'm sorry. Tens of thousands of people. Gone in an instant. But not only that, we retain memories of some sort. After our passing, what just... 
The explosion, the explosion Milano caused completely obliterated the entire outer pole. As if time stood still, still, those hit by the aftershock of the explosion were the explosion stood there, motionless, as if awaiting death. For death. The light colored wheat, the lightly colored wheat were incinerate were instantaneous. The lightly, uh, the lightly clothes were incinerate, in, uh, instantly incinerated. Skin burned, cleaned off, turned to pink, human-shaped lumps of. Uh, oh my God! Now here's the thing, cause I watched Course Party, I can picture that. Ugh. Those who barely survived, unable to think clearly, instinct instinctively ran for water to soothe the horrible burns they sustained. However, they were unable to control their bodies freely in the water, resulting in most of them drowning. Oh my God! Holy shit! The skies were dyed jet black with oxy flame uh, on the, uh, with flames raining down to the ground. Survivors were still self-aware, who were still self-aware, tried to escape the inferno, only to be consumed by the flames. Their entire bodies melted away, as if they had never existed in the first place. The first wave of victims totaled. Holy shit! 84,089 people. About three years after the calamity, there was a second wave of victims. A belt shaped vial of poisonous mana emitted from the epicenter of the explosion, making its way to the region surrounding the outer pole. People who had prolonged exposure to the mana experienced inflamed skin slowly losing function of their vital organs until they finally died. So Ebola? I'm sorry. The second wave of... This second wave of victims from the surrounding area totaled another 87... 78,912 people. Using craft, a single human ended the lives of over 150 thousand people holy shit this game what did you guys do oh my god this was worth the wait this was worth the wait holy shit annihilation what other words could be used to describe it? How do we... Know all this? Look at this bitch! Look at her smiling like nothing happened! Look at this piece of shit! Look at this... Screw you! You... You... You crazy batshit person. Good god. I could clearly remember the, st the statistics of every... death down to the last digit. Not just that, but the overhead view of that explosion, the explosion that ended my own life, was scarred into my mind, along with what happened years after the fact. So basically thermonuclear war. I could see the people, the secondary victims of Milano's explosion, suffering and ultimately succumbing to the poisonous mana. Those are actual memories. The truth is, you and your friends did die, and the rest of those memories of yours were directly implanted by me. P -p -p Preposterous. Utter nonsense, but... If this woman is capable of using mana to unleash such an explosion, then Rosenhide... No. The entire world might not even be able to stand against her. No. No, any form of resistance would be absolutely futile. This is ridiculous. Just everything about it is... Are you death personified? Person? Personified? Deus ex machina. Like some hand of God near the end of a story. Sh Shorty and some closer. Oh my god. Is that what this woman is? Hmm. 
these? Huh? Just what language is that from? Truly. Truly a strange illusionary magic. That wasn't strange. I'm. It, it screwed up my game, uh, princess. With all due respect, this screwed up my game. This this changed. This, 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 I had to click the undo button. I. She. Well, no. She allowed me to click the undo button, uh, princess. Tooth. Yes, mana is actually enriched uranium two thirty five. That is true. Yeah, yeah. I guess that is. This is. Princess, this is true. This is not illusionary magic or craft. This is not. This is true, princess. Please don't be headby. <laughs> you of all people should know that wasn't an illusion. You only have two choices, understand? Don't return to your country and live. Oh boy! Or return to your country and be killed by us! Well then! Who the fuck are you people? And can someone get me to the United States military on this one? <laughs> oh wait, there is no United States. We fucked! <laughs> we are so fucked! It's, yeah, we're screwed! Sorry! We're not winning this, unless we deus ex machina our way out of this, but that's what she is. We're screwed. We're not winning. Let's just not go back to the country so we can pe keep people alive. Well then. Oh my god, this game. This was totally worth it. Oh, she... Oh, this is open. This isn't a co Oh, wow. She tore open a hole in the middle of the air? No matter what you choose. Let's enjoy what happens, okay? Oh my god, she's... Who the hell is this woman? Welcome back. <laughs> I'm back! Jeez, that sure was fun. Sis, it looked fun. Wrong, wrong time, no see. It's long time no see. Wrong time no see. Please don't pout like that. Amazing, Saiyan. I did exactly as you said and I was able to recreate the riptide effect. I'm pretty sure opening a rift in space time is a whole lot more amazing though. And why the flashy exit? Oh yes. Well, I thought I need to make... It looked really cool and dramatic. I swear to God, this person breaks the fourth wall. She 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 has the power to break the fourth wall. My God. So what happened? What did they say? Hmm. I don't know. You don't know? Is there anything in this world that you don't know? Well, there isn't a lot. But I'm pretty sure. I'm sure. But I'm pretty un. Yeah. I got a hiccup. Burp. Whew, man. <clears throat> but I'm pretty unsure about them. But they'll probably come back. I think. Are they stupid? You tell them outright that we'd kill them if they came back. And they still plan on returning? Just to die? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure it's already penetrated deeply into them. In their memory mana. Hey. What do you think? Did she ask us? Did she just... Do we get to choose? Oh! Hey, what do you think? What was that just now? Some sort of craft? P princess! Princess, are you alright? Princess! Princess! <laughs> huh? Something? Call me s Oh. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, hey. Hey. Princess. Fiend. Fiend. Huh? Selfine. Call me Selfine. Selfine! 
Ah, is that so? My, my apologies, Selfie. <laughs> it's all right. We're safe now. <laughs> R Radona. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> I made you use it. I made you use heavy rain. What, what have I? What have I done? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Forgive me. I'm so sorry, Radona. I didn't. I didn't mean to say those things. <laughs> Such a shame. Are you okay, so, so I mean, um, your majesty? No need to call her that. Eh? Please, call her by name. Ah, okay, so, um, Sally, how are you doing? <laughs> she, sh she'll, she'll lose consciousness soon. Eh? Wait! <laughs> is, is that bad? We, we need to find her a place to rest. Rune. Eh? I mean, uh, yes? Celestine and I are on the brink of death right now. Oh, yeah! What is it called? Oh, what is it called? Man, ah, I think it's called Mana po No, it's not called Mana Poisoning. Ah, it's called... What is it called? I know why. I know exactly. Oh, <laughs> that face when you realized you left the oven on. <laughs> what, what, what was it called? It was... Was it called Mana Poisoning? No, it... What was it? Uh, what? One mistake and both our lives are likely forfeit. We need to leave the outer pool as quickly as possible for a place abundant in mana. I'll carry Sylphine. Can I count on you to watch our backs? Uh, of course! Leave it to me! Thank you. <laughs> Who are you people? But oh my god, what a way to start off a game. Holy shit, these guys have outdone themselves. I can only imagine what the third game is. Oh my god. I got the demo downloaded and I'm not gonna play the demo, although I kinda wanted to just take a look at it, but oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Ahem. <clears throat> Flora, how many times do I have to repeat myself? The mana signature found on the Sky Terrace was. Ratonas. We're absolutely certain of this! But neither Ratona nor the princesses nor the princess is in the shelter. Oh, it's the headmaster. <laughs> oh wait, hang on. But neither but neither Ratona nor the princess is in the shelter. Are you accusing Vas There's gotta be a name here. Vastoral Cat Vastoral Cat Oh yeah, I remember that place. Are you accusing Vastoral Cat of lying? Damn it. That's not what we're saying. Misha. Watch your language. While military protocol is in effect, temporary or not, the headmaster is regent of Rosenheim. <laughs> we aren't suggesting that Valor Cat, Valor, Valor Cat is issuing falsities, but still. Regardless, this is really... This is reality. Ser Serenheide? Four days have passed since the attack, and yet, there's no sign of the princess or Ratona. We must move, we must move on to our next course of action. B but sir, the remains of the princess have yet to be found. Just looking at the mana signature shows quite clearly that two people were transported somewhere. I am well aware. However, our most pressing matter is, take, is taking the next course of action. We've dealt on this issue for far too long. Right now, we must focus all our energies into this country's reconstruction. Still, we should round up 
the remaining soldiers from the rear lines and form a search party. Not happening. Who knows when those shadow soldiers will attack again? Taking such valuable troops is out of the question! If that happens, that truly may be the end of this country. Those shadow, sh bleh, those shadow soldiers pull out once Sophie vanished. Why would they do that if their goal was to destroy Rosenheim? In the first place, what if Sophie and Ratona are still alive? We can't just leave them to fend for themselves, damn it! Misha! At this stage, we have no choice but to assume that Princess has passed and moved on. We must defend our rear lines to the last man until King Valher, Valor returns. This is the best course of action for us. What good is sitting around here gonna do, you freaking coward? Ooh. <clears throat> if there was an heir in the... Encyclopedia! Oh, I don't think it's there. Nope, not there. Crap. Okay. <clears throat> Vector craft. Then there's a ch then there's a chance they were relocated somewhere. What if they ended up someplace near here? It's pretty damn obvious that we need to go look for them now. I told you that is out of the question right now. We need to. I'm going to round up every single one of the clocks and form a search party for Ratona and Selfine. I'm sick of just sitting here on my ass here. For the hundredth time. That is out of the question. I will have the soldiers in the I will have the soldiers in the clocks locked down. Anyone who follows your lead will be severely punished. I don't give a damn. I'm not giving up, even if I have to do it myself. Misha! Wait, stop! Good grief. Such a belligerent rebel that boy. Still. The fool might actually attempt to go around recruiting others to his cause. Despite his behavior, he's rather well liked. I know, I know. Flora, I know you got your hands full right now, but could you keep an eye on him? Make sure he doesn't do anything too foolish. <sighs> Understood. Hey, it's the Sky Terrace again. Misha, you can't just behave like that in front of them. Just how long do you plan on acting like a kid? I'm not a kid, alright? There's no way in hell I'm going to let anyone just kill off Ritona or Selfine. They just said they need to maintain the status quo for now. I swear. Once I think you've calmed down... Oh, I was about to sneeze there. <laughs> now let me take a drink. I swear, once I think you've calmed down, why are you dragging me into another mess? Heh, <laughs> but at least now I can round up a search party without holding anything back. What? If I tried something before causing that whole ruckus back there, they would have tried to step in and stop me. So that's why you... Being labeled a troublemaker sure has its benefits, heh? Just throw a little tantrum tantrum or two, and they'll stay out of your hair. To some extent. This guy acts just like my brother. Or, well, used to. Next issue would be you, Flora. Eh? <laughs> me? Are you going to stop me? If I read this right, Miss Laura asked you to keep an eye on me. Which means, if you keep quiet, then I've got a certain amount of freedom to do whatever I want. So, what's the plan? If you're going to just look around aimlessly, then give up. I won't let you recruit anyone just to search at random. Come on, even I'm not crazy enough to do that. And I only need one guy. He isn't even from clocks, so don't worry. What are you up to? I'm planning to talk to the Order of... Rosen, Rosa? Rosna? Rosette? Rosa? Let's, let's, hey. Oops. Okay, well, yada yada, we're there, we're there, okay, we're there. Damn it, did it again. 
I really want to pronounce these things right. Nope. 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 Oh, close quarter crafting. Ah. Ahem. <clears throat> Rosina? There are some people in that order who can take mana signatures apart and reverse engineer the craft used. Hmm. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe they can analyze for Tona's signature and figure out where they were transported to. Well, good sir, we are on the other side of the world. Nonsense. If you need an analytic, then the Knights Intelligence Group can do that for you. The Rosenhide Knighthood Intelligence Group was formed just recently, right? For something like this, I think we need to bring in a specialist. Just who do you think you are? The Knighthood's got the best info crafters in the entire alliance. But do they have the result to prove it? Well, Ratona's, Ratona's an idiot. That's why she's so capable. Wow, I am not. Ratona's not an idiot. Hang on, I'm about to get interrupted. Give me a second. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna get interrupted. Ratona is not an idiot. How dare you? Ratona is a very capable woman. There's no way Ratona would let a, would let the signature of a craft as important as an escape route to a castle be analyzed so easily. Capable because she's an idiot? I'm saying there's no way any average crafter can reverse engineer the craft Retona use. Ah, okay, so, oh, oh, I see now, I see now, duh. You may have a point there. That said, I'm off to the, I'm off to Reaver's Grounds. Wait. Reaver's Grounds? Is that where the Union's most powerful mana crafters reside? Yep. The Order of Rosens, Rosens is part of those powerful mana crafters. Are you out of your mind? You can't just waltz in there. The war may have gone cold, but it goes without saying that they're an enemy of the Alliance. There are even rumors that the Union had a hand in the assault a few days ago. The mana, uh, the mana signatures on the Sky Terrace is our only lead right now. Do we have any other options? You can't! Even if it is you, I won't ever, ever forgive anyone who asks for help from the Union. Flora, this isn't time for us to be picky about who, about how we do this. But still, you know Riggs? His uncle is from Reaver Grounds. He's actually a member of the Order of Rosen. No, no way. But we haven't had any contact with him in ages. Still. Don't tell anyone else about this. If anyone found out that someone in Rosenhide was from Griever Grounds, well, it ain't gonna be pretty. Since when have you known? Since when? No, no, I forgot. Misha, have you lost the ability to tell apart what you can and can't kept secret? Flora, Riggs is a citizen of Rosenhide. He shouldn't have to suffer just because of his uncle. Do you think I'm going to buy into such a childish sense of justice? No, I don't. I know you won't. That's why I kept my mouth shut. And I apologize for that. Sorry for keeping it a secret. But I'm begging you, Flora. We have a lead here. Please, don't tell anyone about this. For Riggs. And for Ratona and Sophie. That's exactly what worries me. Tch. Fine. On one condition. What? I want to talk with you and Riggs. Let's meet at gate 3 tomorrow noon. Sh sure This isn't fair, Misha. You're always... Always just... Ratona... Selphine... Please be safe. Okay, can we go back to Ratona and Selphine? I like them better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, those might be girls. 
Hmm? Excuse us. Hi, over here, over here. We we have a reservation under Zeta Zeta. We've been waiting! And don't worry, we've already been informed. Hey, is she alright? Ah well, um she stayed up very late last night, so she's taking a short nap. We're mana crafters. R Ratona? Crafters? Thanks to an unfortunate chain of events, we've ended up using all our mana. We must get somewhere abundance in mana. And soon. Yes! Please! We beg of you! Can you have the ship depart right away? That's a little tough. We still have more than half the cargo to load. And we can't just up and leave without it all. Damn! Cargo? Do you mean that stuff over there? Yeah, there's quite a lot, as you can see. Uh, Alright. Let's get this all on board in ten minutes. I'll lend a hand, too. R rune Ten minutes? Miss, do you know how much a single crit weight? Oh! <laughs> Here comes Rune just popping right out in front of me. <laughs> oh, this game. It actually has animations now. I like it. I really do like it. Oof. <laughs> Where? Where should I put this? What in the? No way! She's carrying a cr she's carrying that crate with her bare hands all by herself. Please, we're in a hurry. I. Hey, you! Show her the way. I, 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 sir. Rune. Um. Tona, do you have a moment? Sure. I just spoke with the ship's captain. He told me that it will take four hours to reach an area of the ocean called the Swap Point. At that point, Redness from the Interpol will switch places with the crew and continue the rest of the voyage. Man will be present from there on, so we just need to hold out for another four hours. Is that so? Good to hear. Four hours from now. I think we can handle that. Oof, she does not look good. You know, I've watched so much Corpse Party, I'm half afraid one of them's going to die and I don't know it. <laughs> and I really don't want one of them to die. I mean, I... I don't... <laughs> God damn it, Corpse Party has left a, such a bad memory in my head. I... I really don't want Tona to die. I mean, no, I don't want Selfie to, to die also, but... <laughs> God damn it, Corpse Party, why you do this to me? Uh, I'm feeling so lightheaded. I'm fine. The fit teach just hit me now that we're safe. More importantly, Rune, there's a lot of things I need to discuss with you. There's no need to hide anything from you now. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and I'll be glad to answer all of them. Are, are you sure? We can just save this for later, you know. No, it's fine. I just need some fresh air. Mind if we take this discussion outside? N no, not at all. Phew. Wait, is the camera is the camera moving? It looks like it's moving. So, um, I hate to bring this up all of a sudden, but are you and Sully really from the kingdom of Rosenhide? Sully is really a princess and you're really her guardian? Yes. Just days ago, we were attacked by Milona, Milona, Milano's subordinates. Concern, Sulfian and I made use of an emergency craft to escape to a neighboring country's shelter. But it didn't work out as expected. When we emerge, we are deep inside Cadia's forest. What caused it to go wrong? I don't know. I had no idea. It would have spelled trouble for us if people found out who we were. So we chose to keep it a secret. Sorry, Rune. This isn't how I wanted to tell you of our true identities. Oh, don't be silly. What do you mean? You were in such dire straits, and you still made it to help. And you still and you still made time to help me out. Um, 
Just so... grateful. How can I ever repay you? <laughs> that was nothing, Rune. We're dear friends now. There's no need to apologize for... There's no need for you to apologize for every little thing. Ratona! Thank you. By the way, um... Just what happened to Sully back in the forest? Rune. Among the Interpol's monarchies, there's something called the Path Down. Do you know anything about it? No. Not the specifics. Alright. Roy royalty can use a special kind of craft. Though a certain... Through a certain ritual, their descendants or, in some cases, those who deem fit to succeed to the throne, inherit all their knowledge and experience. This craft is called the Path Down. A path down that continues for many generations is a symbol of prosperity and unity with his people. It's one of the cornerstones of our culture. Eh? But she said she was the ninth generation. Isn't that a really long time ago? Indeed it is. About 350 years have already passed. Good God, that's a long time. So... <clears throat> so that means Silly has 350 years worth of knowledge and experience stored inside her? That does it. But what does it have to do with her change in personality? Strictly speaking, the path down is composed of two phases. First is transfer. In this phase, all memories, knowledge, wisdom, and experience are directly transferred to the successor. This time take the time this takes is proportional to the memories being transferred. Each will take about one year. Each person? Yes, each past ruler. So wait, what happens if there's like what happens if there's like a hundred rulers? So you have to live a hundred that's good no man, that doesn't seem like it would work real well now, does it? Anyways, <clears throat> having turned fourteen this year. Celestine has completed the transfer of the mana from her father, King Valor, for a total of eight rulers. She's begun the transfer phase when she was six years old, so the first phase is mostly complete. Next, after the transfer phase, is the breaking in phase. This phase consists of memories and experiences which transferred into their subconsciousness, fusing with their conscious mind. It doesn't sound like something you can do in an instant. Of course not. This is hundreds of years of experiences and information transferred in just a mere eight. Fusing the transferred mana too quickly will result in the successor's ego being overwritten by the past ruler. That's why time is needed to slowly assimilate the information stored in the subconscious into the successor's conscience. I see. Now, as for the Empress Syndrome that manifested earlier, a successor who hasn't finished a breaking in phase is exposed to extreme danger the consciousness of a past ruler can surface. You could say that it's a phenomenon that occurs out of instinct, arising from the need for self-preservation. No, the preservation for self-preservation, the preservation of the past down. Is that so? That being said, there's a tendency for the situation to influence which past rulers appear. The one you saw earlier was Rosenheim's second ruler, Queen... Oh, right. No, I was saying, I never heard this before, but yeah, Rosenheim. Of all nine generations of Rosenheim monarchs, she was the most ruthless and bloodthirsty. On the battlefield, we never had the a strange... Eh. We never had a strategist as exceptional as her. Excuse me. She was the one who forged Rosenheim into a kingdom that other countries feared. Her skills as a battlecrafter, the uh, battlecrafter, was also second to none, or so I hear. She really had a commanding presence, huh? Ah, that's right. About the Empress Syndrome. What is it? Whenever it happens, where does Sally's own personality go? Hmm. Um, basically there's eight other personalities inside her, and, um, they take over based on the situation, right? 
So I guess it's something like having multiple personalities? Not quite. It's something similar, but fundamentally different. That was Selfine's herself. But her personality was composed of Queen Reagan's experiences, knowledge, and so on. So actually, Selfine has a clear sense of herself. That's why after the Syndrome episode, she was crying and apologizing. She was sorry for the way she spoke and for ordering me to do certain things, both of which she never would have done as her true self. Sounds like someone who had too much alcohol and went on a drunken rampage. <laughs> that was quite the inappropriate analogy. Well, I guess it is similar to how one would seriously regret doing something one would normally never do. I can't speak for Celestine here, but I think it's much, much scarier than that. When totally drunk, your personality only changes slightly because your thought process and judgments are impaired. But Empress Syndrome is totally different and totally incomparable. Your morals, your sense of right and wrong, personality and mannerisms are all clearly changed in an instant. Never experiencing it myself, I can't imagine what it would feel like. Sally. Are there any adverse effects? There shouldn't be any. At least, as long as she's in the area with mana. Though the experience is physically draining enough to cause her to lose consciousness when she returns. All we can do for now is let her rest. Give me one quick second. Okay, just had to do a quick sound check. All good. By the way, Rune. I've got the question of my own. Huh? Oh, yes. What is it? How, um, just how strong are you? How strong? Oh, the music. God, I love the music in this game. Uh, oh, you're referring to the incident with the cargo earlier? Sorry for such an unsightly display. Unsightly? Not at all. Well, I was just taken back. I was just taken aback. Just where does your strength come from, from that... Delegate body of yours. Well, my body is based off of machines used in mining work, so I have quite a lot of power. I'm also designed to, designed to be able to survive in dangerous environments. I know I've had I've gone two days with non-stop sleep, and when you wake up, you feel so rested. It is the best feeling ever. But then you get really, really, really 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 hungry <laughs> and you just eat all day you eat all day food after food after food after food and then you sleep and then you wake up and you feel so good again and you just back to normal life but the two days or the days prior before that sleep is utter hell it sucks and it's the worst thing ever. I would never want to do that. Ugh. The only time, it, it was just, ugh. Physically and mentally exhausting, which is why I went through those two days of sleep, and it was the best sleep ever. <laughs> I was so relaxed, but then I woke up again and I was hungry, so I just, but it was just, it was definitely from the time you wake up after that two, two days, you're just in pure bliss. While you're eating, while you're doing everything, you're just... You're basically high. <laughs> I don't know how high is, but my mother told me that that's basically your mind, your brain, is basically the equivalent of being high. But if it, it's just relaxing. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on. Thanks to that, any blows or slashes that would have been pretty dang strong before, they can be even a... They can even so they can even so much as scratch me. Ah, I remember the incident in the tavern. So that's why. Hmm. Well, if I had to put a number to it, that's pretty tough. Good point. It's not exactly something we can easily express in figures. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to experience how strong you are. For example, hitting or throwing something. Um. 
I might do some streams tomorrow. I'll have to reschedule. I'll have to do some things in the schedule because I screwed up my scheduling with this one. I might continue this stream tomorrow. I don't know because this is so awesome. I just love this game. Now this might be going on for a longer stream because I'm so glad to be able to play this game again. Anyways. But yeah, I am planning on doing streams tomorrow, uh, John. Anyways. Alright. I'll be blunt. How good are you in a fight? How many people can you take on at once? How many people? Do you mean a fight with normal people? Unarmed? Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. That's right. How else could she have taken that? Let me think. Well, I've never been in a real fight before, so I can't say this with the full confidence. But I maybe can't. I maybe can't. But maybe I can handle up to ten adult men. Holy shit! How strong are you? Hmm. Oh, but if ten people tried to pin me down at once, I might not be able to lift them all off me. That's what she meant. I was referring to an actual fight, not just. <laughs> that was real fast. <laughs> I was referring to an actual fight, not just lifting them like weights. Well, if I was just a if, well, if it was just a fist fight, I'm pretty sure that I would win, hands down. All right, John, have a good sleep. Pretty sure I doubt any any normal human being would be able to hit take me apart. I, is that so? Yes, I have enough strength built in me to crush boulders and bend steel. Ah, but I don't know anything about actual fighting, so I can't be sure until I get into an actual scuffle. Your vision is also quite impressive. How are we able to track Malone's movements? Ah, uh, about that. Might have these things called cameras installed. If I concentrate, I can see motions at a rate of, two th of 20,000 frames per second. I couldn't hold my concentration like that for more than 5 or 6 seconds, though. <laughs> frames? FPS, the same thing I use on my computer. Well, the minimum frame rate for capturing motion would be 24 frames per second, and, um, well, let me put it this way. Um, uh, well, it's, pretty, it's a pretty extreme example, but when you fire a gun, let's just say I can see it moving out of the muzzle really, really slowly. Oh, there's guns in this! Wait a second, Ratona has a sword, has a sword and there are guns in this. How the hell are you going to fight? Well, what? Are you... Are you some kind of monster? Monster? Not a nice way to put it. No, wait a minute. If she can see all that, then... Does that mean you can catch bullets in midair? Well... I, I can't say for sure. It'll be tough if the conditions aren't right. But as long as there's enough distance I can see when the shoulder pulls the trigger, I think I can do it. Oh, that's so cool! That's rather hard to believe. <laughs> I know, right? Ah! Well, then, how about I... Do a little demonstration. What do you mean? Let me just ruin dig the round in the purse she has with her and talks and that, that, yeah. Rune digs around in the purse she has with her as she talks and takes out a coin. Please take this coin and throw it straight at me as hard as you can. <laughs> what? Don't worry, I'll make sure to catch it. Rune's hand Rune hands me the coin. It is one of the considerably hidden is one of the considerably heavier coins that Kadia that Kadia is circulating. I wonder what would happen if I really did throw something small and heavy a coin at someone with full force. Rune should barely be able to avoid it. Still, catching it in midair? Even if it's possible, it would be very difficult to pull off. You can throw it from anywhere you like, just let me know when you're ready. Eh? <laughs> is she serious? I move a short distance back away from Rune. Hi, Rune! Is this far enough? I stood around. I stood around two body lengths away from Rune, just in case anything were to happen. No need to go that far, but that's quite alright. Good lord. This is far? There's no possible way she could consider this far. Hey, hey, Rune, are you sure about this? You won't get hurt if I accidentally hit you, will you? <laughs> Relax, Ratona. That little coin isn't going to do anything. Uh, Alright. Don't mind me. Just throw it and don't hold back. Here I go. I took a pitching stance, focusing all my power, and hurled the coin at Rune. That went... <laughs> 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 Ahem. Ahem. That, that throw, though. 
<laughs> that was a throw. Whoosh! Snatch! What? I aimed at her thighs so that if something did go wrong, it wouldn't hurt as much. Where'd it go? Ta-da! Rune opens her right hand, revealing the coin just, uh, just thrown. What was <laughs> that just now? It happened so quickly I wasn't able to see it very well, but one thing was clear. Judging by the timing of her movement, she was, it would be natural conclusion. Rather than react to my movements, it looks as if Rune moved in sync with me. I know I shouldn't be thinking this, but the way she moved was disturbing. Almost inhuman. Not that she was human in the first place. Try throwing 10 coins at once this time. <laughs> the 10? 10 coins at once? How could you possibly catch all those? Coins would scatter all over if I threw 10 at once. She couldn't possibly catch all those. It's alright, Ratona. Just try and see. Come on. There's no way she could catch these. This time, I'd take out 10 coins from my own purse. And definitely, these coins were different size and weights. Are, are you really sure about this, Rune? I'm sure. This will be easy. H here I go. Ready when you are. One, two, three! Snatch, 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 snatch. That's just downright scary. I couldn't even see her arms. I couldn't even see her arms anymore. <laughs> Cat ten. Cat all ten of them. You're pretty invincible. Oh, not at all. I saw you throwing the coins, so I was able to react. I want to be able to predict sneak attacks. There are there also have been cases where my body wouldn't stop moving if I forced myself too hard. Besides, if I end up fighting with my fellow sisters, I'm pretty sure I'd lose. Ah, I see. i would forgotten that there are others like Room. Being a prototype, the production models after me should have much better mechanical abilities. And Katya is alright with things like those just roaming around the streets. Also, it is just a speculation. But I'm in big trouble if someone used mana crafts against me. Eh, my jaw. I haven't talked so much. Anyway, mm -hmm. I run on mana. So the flow of mana inside me was to be disrupted. Who knows what could happen? That's so. Rune, I'm going to tell you right now. This is no ordinary journey. It sure isn't. Milano left those parting words, but regardless. Selfine and I must return to Rosenheim for its sake and the sake of its people who look forward to seeing their Princess Selfine crowned queen after completing the pass down. Although we left Kadia on the promise of travel, this must be too much of a burden on you for you. If at any point our, in our travels you want to go your own way, we Tona. It's only thanks to you and Sully that I was able to be free like this. Dangerous or not. If this journey can serve as some way to repay both of you, then so be it. That's a cool shot. Rune. <laughs> That's right. Alright, then let me ask you once more. Can we count on you, both as a fighter and a friend dear to us? Oh, this is such an awesome transition. I'm still completely clueless on how to fight, so I might end up being useless when it comes down to it. God, this game has so improved since the first one. Ow, I hit my lip. Ow, 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 ow. This game has so improved. But with you guiding me, Ratona, I think I can be I can be of some help. Yay, Chief Unlock! Rune has just joined the party. I'll give it my very best. This much I can promise you. <laughs> Rune replied with such enthusiasm, so much that I had almost forgotten she was a machine. This reaffirmed that she truly was an irreplaceable friend. At the very least, leave anyone who tries anything funny with you to me, I'll knock them to kingdom come. I'll give them the good old Rune Punch. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. Not to sound like a broken record, but it'll be a pleasure traveling with you, Rune. Likewise. Oh! Oh! But what's the matter? I just realized I haven't thought of a nickname for you, Ratona. What? It's not fair that Sully gets a nickname. 
Oh boy. Please, Ratona. I'd like to be friendlier with you, though, calling you by your, your by a nickname. Just what kind of logic is that? I really don't mind. But it's going to be hard sh shortening my name my my name any further any further. Hmm. You make a good point. Can we do with Ratona? Ratona. Ratona. Um. Rito. Rit. Ritty. Rinny. Ratoni. <laughs> you can stop now. Ah, I've got it. What about Ritz? Yes, I do believe I've outdone myself. Ritz! Isn't that a cute nickname? Ritzy! <laughs> She's like, oh shit. Let's just stick to Ratona. Aww. <laughs> Ratona's just like, ah shit. Alright, back at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this all about? Flora. Don't tell me you're planning to come with us. And what if I am? Look, if you're coming along with me, do you think Laura and the headmaster are going to take it lying down? You've got your own job to do. What about that? When someone who abandoned his work, even when the grand kitchen is already on short, so on short staff, ugh, that's not a problem. I already told Chef Marie before I left. I have permission. So do I. What? I've already dealt with it. Wait a second. What do you mean by that, Flora? Don't tell me you, Flora. It, it, it's all, is it alright for a relative of the royal family to leave the country at a time like this? Aren't you worried about yourself? Worried? My being here means I've already no notified Laura and the others about you going about your background, right? We all live our lives doing the things we think are right. It would be wrong of me to resent you because of actions you've taken. That aside, Flora, now that you know the truth of my family, oops, do you view me any different than before? Of course not. Is what I'd like to say. I definitely want to, from the bottom of my heart. But now, I don't even know what to think anymore. Damn it, Flora. That's enough, Misha. I knew it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. Flora, I'm very grateful for the days I spent in the Kingdom of Rosenhide. There hasn't been a single day I've lived here that I haven't appreciated, because I've never experienced peace like I have here in Rosenhide. If my peaceful life was brought to an abrupt halt, I wouldn't have any regrets. Or so I thought, until just the other day. Now I'm having second thoughts. I realized there was something I could do for Rosenhide. My uncle, a member of the Order of Rosen. Maybe the... May, maybe... Eh, I need a drink. Yeah. So the stuff I have here is flat. If y'all just give me one... Quick second. I've talked so much, my mouth is starting to get dry. I forgot what this game does to me when I talk. Ugh, I gotta, I'll be back. I gotta get a drink. <laughs> my, my mouth, the tongue. My tongue is there, but I think because I'm back to doing Miles Fault Milestone again, this is gonna be a special live stream. It can go on for longer. How much longer? I don't know. They sure as hell ain't gonna be two hours. Flora, let me have this chance to give something back to this kingdom. This might be the only thing I can give back to the kingdom that has given me so much. I haven't changed at all. Still so foolishly earnest. Earnest, earnest. Look, haven't I already told you? Huh? I said I was going to go with you. 
Besides, how do you expect to get through the checkpoints leading out of the Alliance? The checkpoints? I have all my papers and documentation, so... Every single checkpoint in the Alliance is on complete lockdown right now. You have to be pretty high-ranking official if you want to get through. Are you serious? Isn't that much obvious? Think about the situation we're in right now. The Kingdom of Rosenhide was attacked! Do you, just, do you have any idea just how preposterous this idea would be, would have to be before the attack? Get off my back, Flora. Of course I do. No. No, you don't. Listen, Misha. There are... Uh, there are throngs of shadows sold. Uh, though there are throngs of shadow. Uh, there are things of the... <laughs> there are there are throngs of those shadow soldiers just roaming the kingdom borders. The only thing the two of you would have accomplished is getting yourselves killed. Flora, just how much do you plan on talking down to me? We may be nowhere near the capable as comparable as fighting as battlecrafters like you, but those are just the remnants of the assault force. They won't be moving around in groups. We're not going to get taken down by just one or two stray soldiers. Too naive, Misha. Those things broke through both our front and rear lines. With just a force of over a hundred or so. Sorry to say this, but you and Riggs wouldn't stand a chance even against even one of those. You and the rest of the kitchen crew probably wouldn't know since you've all evacuated to the shelter. But Misha... It took two trap crafters just to take down a single one of those shadow soldiers. What? Two trick crafters? You gotta be, am I saying that right? I guess I am. You're kidding me? No, wait, that doesn't make sense. According to the surveillance man, Evertona took out four of those things while fighting that snotty, blonde, pigtail kid, and she, and she only took a split second. How could two trick crafters struggle to take down a single shadow soldier? It isn't some drawn out stage play. Real battles are decided in an instant, and Ritona is possibly the most overpowered person in the, uh,. Well, no, she isn't the most overpowered. The most overpowered person is that Milano person, but Rotona's probably the second, I guess. And Misha. Have you forgotten that Rotona is the appointed guardian of Princess Elfine, the heiress to the throne? They've been friends since childhood, so there has been speculation of favorism in this decision. But if she made a single mistake, that would spell the end of this kingdom's path down. Regardless of how much Elfine likes her, if Ratona didn't have the skills to back it up, there's no way she could have been appointed as Royal Guardian. There's no comparison between Ratona and any normal mana crafter. You could count on a single hand the number of battle crafters in the Alliance who could go toe to toe with her in close combat. Why did it take me so long to read? Good lord. I. I never knew she was this amazing. You stay at uh, nothing. Nothing. During the attack, I also had to fend off a shadow soldier. If Toshka and Kiryu weren't there with me, I wouldn't be standing here today. Why did you decide to come along with us? What's your objective, Flora? If, just if, your elder sister wasn't chosen to be the reception of the path down, then you have a duty to stay here in Rosenhide as the next candidate. If my sister isn't good enough, then I doubt I would be either. Oh, so she's Selfie's sister. That's interesting. Oh, don't give me that look. Both of you. Your thoughts are written all over your faces. Sorry. I'm sure you already know this, but... With King Valor absent right now, if Princess Selfie truly has passed away, then that would close the curtains on Rosenhide history forever. So performing a pass down on a bunch of branch families is nothing but a facade. If we're if we were dealing with two or three generations, 
maybe it could have worked out, but we have nine. My bloodline, the Serenhide, I've never gone through a path down before. The strain would be too much for us. Besides, do you think the citizens would approve of transferring the path down to someone else when we aren't even sure the princess is alive or not? Branch famous like us are only royal in name. That's cool, Coop. Welcome to the stream, anyways. Traveling to Minnesota. I've been to Minnesota. Once. Nothing really did there. We really did nothing there. Uh, you are you are extremely close to me. Where are you in Iowa? Because I'm in Nebraska. So where are you, Coop? What city are you in Iowa? Anyway, that's why I'm joining you. This is a gamble. Gamble? That's right. I've been assigned as an observer to both of you. So you really did spill the beans to the teachers. I'm surprised they're just letting you leave the country like this. There was no... There was a condition. Listen, you two. They absolutely will not allow failure. We in the Alliance value individuals and their rights. All the Union cares about their religion. If they have to, they'll use any means, no matter how inhumane, to extract information about the Alliance from you. Oh boy. That's why I was given an order. If you ever fall into the hands of the enemy, I am too. <clears throat> Make sure you don't tell anyone. I am too. That's enough, Flora. No need to spell it out. We get it. Hey now, don't look so gloom. It's part of the job, right? Nothing we can do about it. This is perfect, though. The fact that we're not stop that they're not stopping us means they think we've got a shot at this. Misha, you heard her, Riggs. If we screw up negotiations, there will be a pretty lethal penalty waiting for us. I'd rather stay uninvolved in this, Misha, but I suppose we're in this too far to back down now. Yeah, I was gonna make this a longer stream, but I'm not sure how how long my mouth will hold out. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man, I almost I haven't talked so much. Good lord. Anyways, either way, our lives are on the line here. No problem. We just need not to screw up. Ain't that right, Flora? Can you be so carefree? How can you be so carefree about this, Misha? Don't you get it? Failure means death. This isn't a joke or a threat. They're serious. Of course I get it. Then why? Well, do you want me to do? Well, what do you want me to do? Run around screaming my head off? That wouldn't solve anything. That's, that is true. To be honest, I'm pretty surprised that those teachers would go this far. But that just means they're taking this just that much more seriously. It's do or die. No way we can turn tail now. Ratona and Princess Elsie might be alive, you know. And there's a possi- and there's no way in hell I'm going to ignore that possibility no matter what they tell me. So, Flora, if something ever happens to us too, let the teachers know. Let them know that we don't resent those two girls or the kingdom. And that goes for you too, Flora. Agreed. We're the ones being unreasonable here after all. Hm. Okay, now that we've got that all settled, let's get going. Time to bid farewell to Rosenhide, huh? We have a long journey ahead of us. I look forward to traveling with you both. Same here. <laughs> but a while since all three of us have done something like this. Come on, Flora. We're off. Yeah. Don't worry, Misha. If anything were to happen to either of you, I'd... Uh, she really does care. Can we go back to Rune and Sylphine? Yes! Hmm. Ah, Sylphine. She, she was awake already? How are you feeling, Sylphine? I'm fine now. <laughs> Sophine sighs deeply and relaxes her shoulders. <sighs> it looks like I did it yet again, huh? 
That certainly was an overstatement. I wouldn't say it happens this regularly. Really? You know, I remember it so clearly like it was just yesterday. You mean the last time it happened? Yes. It felt more... It felt like the more I experienced Empress in them, the more clearly I remember each occurrence. That is said to be a phenomenon necessary for one's self-protection. Maybe you remember it more clearly because when it surfaced, your life was at risk. I really didn't like when it happened. I, I really don't like it when that happens. Especially with Queen Rosen. With Queen Reagan memories and personality. I know that Rosenhide wouldn't have been the powerful kingdom it is today if it wasn't for her. But when I think about how she'll eventually become a part of me, it's a complicated feeling. Queen Ro Queen Reagan, doesn't she doesn't feel anything whenever she, you know, kills someone. It's like her sense of right and wrong was based on her own concept of justice. She would manipulate anyone for the sake of the country, whether they were close subordinates, friends, even family. Ratona, do you remember the story about Chris? He served Queen Rosenheim's side as the leader of the Knights for over 20 years, right? Now oh, I've been talking for so long, my throat is actually hurting. Yeah, how much time have I been recording? I've got half an hour left. Him. That's right. If I remember correctly, the Union had him defect to their side. Uh, yeah, I got it. This will just be a normal live stream because my one, my throat can't handle it, and two, I'll have to record a uh, another what you would call it. <clears throat> I'll have to record a video today after to see if I like. But uh, yes, yeah, I think this will be a normal live stream unless I somehow get any renewed bursts of energy for my throat. <sighs> he turned traitor to Rosenhide and plotted to kill Queen Reagan. His plans failed, though. Yes. Did you know that he and the Queen were so close that there were rumors of them having a relationship? I do. It's quite a well-known story. And the ending was just as famous. When Chris made an attempt at Queen Reagan's life, it was her royal guardian who protected her. Her guardian disarmed him and knocked him to the ground. And then she was then she asked was asked what should be done to Chris. Queen Reagan picked up Chris' knife and ran it through his neck without hesitation. Exactly. At the time Rosenhide was still in his infancy. One little mistake in other countries would have swallowed it whole. Truly a time of instability. Sophie and I find it difficult to imagine having lived in relative peace until just very recently. What made you bring up the story, if you don't mind me asking? Chris execution. People praise Queen Re Reagan's swift actions against him as a sign of strength. Without her, Rosenhide wouldn't be where it is today. I can understand that. She certainly was, well, quite the protective leader. The truth is, Queen Rosenhide looked at the spray of blood gushing out from Chris's throat, and all she wanted to do was to go back to her room and change out of her dress. Wait, what? Hang on. And all she wanted to do was to go back to her room and change out of her dress. What? Her dress was soaked in Chris's blood? So she refrained from joining the others in a meal, though how troublesome being late, and thought of how troublesome being late was when she came back to her room. Wait, room? What? Oh, shoot, no, wait. To her room, yeah. That's all she thought after killing someone who had closely served under her for so long. With her two hands, no less. I, I never knew. Queen Rosenheim didn't feel once feel sad or angry that she was betrayed like anyone else would. Instead, it was like she felt relieved at that very moment, and her heart was unnaturally at peace. I think she became like that because despair was constantly following her every step of the way. 
Now that I think about it, I also felt that from alone. That's why it upsets me. Did Rudu say something like that? Didn't Rudu say something like that? That someone who can just put on and take off their emotion isn't human? He did. I had argued against him about that, but the truth is, I agreed with him. It's exactly as he said. He's absolutely right. Queen Ring's Ray ability to completely detach herself emotionally is just unhuman. I never, ever want to become someone like that. Perhaps the kind of, perhaps that kind of cold-heartedness was just the norm back then, even if it's beyond us. But the cold-heartedness is going to become a part of me. She's on the mark. But look at her successor. Like Queen Rosenheit, son, King Vera, Verag, who founded the Alliance, he and the present King Valor are far from what we call we could call cold hearted. Of course I know that. But it's different. How? I know that both my father and Ve and Vagar Vagar for no Vergad Ver Vra Vrag. Vrag? What the Vra is a Vrag? Vrag. My father and Vrag were kind and compassionate, but just thinking of inheriting Queen Regan of inheriting Queen Regan terrifies me. One day I might have I might one day I may end up having to make use of Queen Regan's strength. And I don't want that. I don't want to turn into someone who thinks like her. Even if I can't control and suppress it, I want nothing to do with it. Oh. Ratona? Where's Rune? She's probably outside helping the ship crew. Could you bring her in? I want to talk with Rune about this, too. Understood. I'll be right back. Oh, Ratona! There you are, Rune. Uh, um, how's Sully doing? She's fine. In fact, she just came too. Thank goodness. All hands on deck! Ah, hmm? Excuse us, passing through. What's the commotion? Seems like we arrived at the swap point. As I realized that, the ship had stopped. I also noticed the presence of a small boat anchor beside us. Looks like they're switching the crew from the inner pool. Which means... Ah... Anna... Yes! This feels... Right. A feeling of, re of relief fills me. The past four days we spent in the outer pool felt like ages ago now. Oh! You can already sense the mana? Yes. It's an indescri it's indescribable it's an indescribable feeling, but it's like a warm embrace. Maybe because we've been in the outer pool for so long. But this may be the first time in my life that I've truly felt the presence of mana. This sensation is like slowly immersing oneself into water of the exact same temperature. I haven't taken a I have not taken a bath in like ten years. I mean I take showers, but I have yet to take like bath. I've been swimming and I love swimming. So I guess that's the best I can compare it to. As it, as it permeates through my body, it becomes one with me and I become linked with the environment. I sense the mana assimilating into me. The way mana exerts pressure on the skin, this is unmistakably aqua manner. mana. Ratio of mana is quite screwed though. We're near the second pool after all. The second pole is Aqua, I believe. So it seems. I've only ever heard about it. Aqua. Hmm. All the attributes is one I'm worst at handling. Of all the attributes, it's the one I'm worst at handling. Is that so? I didn't know people had weak and strong areas for mana. Heck, I thought you were a master at everything. Is that sarcasm I hear? Of course I have my weak points too. Alright ladies, this is as far as my crew and I go- Hmm... The one, in, the one in black is looking a whole lot better now. All thanks to you. Getting closer to the mana practically brought me back to life. You really are from the inner pool, huh? Well, I guess that explains it. Ah, that's right. Even though I got to sensitive gotten sensitive because we haven't had any exposure the last few days, the presence of mana can still be sensed on one bare skin. 
Captain. Oh, it's Mana Shock. That's what it is. Are you alright? What about Mana Shock? Of course I ain't alright. And I'll have to move to the swap point. And I'll have to move the swap point back too. This is clearly unreasonable. Why would people from the outer pool have to go up until the very edge of where mana starts to become abundant? Why can't people from the inner pool just sail straight to your point in port instead? With the port being as close as they are, people from the inner pool would have far fewer problems than you would because they don't wanna. They can't stand being someplace without mana. That's absurd. Besides, from this point of view, they're being nice enough to give us some work. The contact chief Rudud Rup nets them a pretty good deal, but they just wouldn't be able to be. Eh, they just wouldn't be reasonable with that. They said that we'd have too much if we already wanted to work with them. Ugh! I swear, damn people from the Interpol always so condescending. I, I see. That really hurts. Well, it's only been a short while, but good. But good luck. Take care of yourself. Especially you, Superwoman. Yes, thank you for taking us this far. S Superwoman? The change of crew took no more than 10 seconds. I guess this is a sailing ship, judging by there's the rigging. And there's a mast. Or the rigging to get to the top of a mast or something. It just seems to be routine for the experienced soldiers. Or sailors? How the hell do I confuse soldiers and sailors? But that's only natural. Slack off, and in the worst case, lives may be at risk. Alright, Mr. Herzon did say the outer pool's boundaries were shrinking. He did, yes. I wonder what's causing that. It'll take quite some time, but if the boundaries are pushed back all the way to the cities, I'd rather not imagine. In any case, you're... we really were in the outer pool, huh? Did you have a... Elevation? Elevation? Not once in my life had I thought I'd end up going there. There isn't anything like it anywhere near Rosenheide, so I never imagined a place like that in the outer pool. I thought someone came in again. Well, Ratona, is everything alright? Oops. I completely forgot. I was supposed to be rude to Selfine. I guess I took far too long. Sally! Are you alright now? I feel fine. All I needed was some rest. What's wrong, Sally? Rune, I'm sorry. Sorry for saying all those horrible things. From when you were suffering from Empress Syndrome? So you know about it? Yes, Ratona told me about it. That, that wasn't my first time. I might, up end up, I might end up experiencing it again, but I really didn't mean to. No, I can't say that I didn't mean to. Hmm? What do you mean? Even though I was overcome like that, I still had a clear sense of who I was. I did what I what I did back there because in my mind that was what I thought was best. So I can't say I didn't mean any of it. Sally <laughs> Relax, it's alright. Don't beat yourself up over it. Eh? <laughs> I want to know more about the people who gave me a second chance at life. You and Ratona treat me as equal when I wasn't even human. There there's no way Either of you could be anything but good people. Rune, acting out of the usual doesn't change anything about your soul. Your memory mana. That's what I believe. Thank you. Thank you, Rune. From the very bottom of my heart. Don't make that face, Sally. Smile. Smile. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey together. Me too. You were taking a while to get back, Ratona. Did something happen? Sorry, I was about to call Rune over, but the ship was just switching crews. Switching crews? We just arrived at the boundary between the poles, so the ship had to change hands. What? What does that mean for that the people on all the... Wait, so does that mean the people on... weren't with us earlier? Indeed. They just... they finished transferring just earlier. Amazing! Doing all of this while at sea? Have you started to feel yet? Have you started to feel it yet, Selfine? Feel what? You've entered the inner pool area now. Ah! Now that you mention it, I can. This is mana. Wait, this this feels different from Rosenhide. The continent we're sailing to is the second pole. 
is filled with aqua mana. The complete opposite of Rosenhide mana. Oh, you're right! It is aqua mana! It really does feel completely different. Wow. So this... Antif... Antiphony... Ant... Uh, so this anti... Anti... Entity... Ant... Ant... Uh, Affin... So the antiphony and the mana changes the situation. With the mana ratio this different, you can definitely feel it. It's like we've stepped into a completely different world. Oh wait, Sally, you couldn't imagine, you couldn't immediately, you couldn't immediately tell me what kind of mana was it was. Ah, if I could, I'd be a single crafter in no time. Single crafter? Long explanation, but our kingdom system, it ranked from single crafter up to quin crafter, indicating of how many types of mana you've mastered. To pass the exam. To be a single crafter, you must be able to sense mana, analyze it to determine its composition, and shift or manipulate it into a certain degree. To a certain degree, is that something anyone can do? Well, ascertaining the composition and shifting should be doubtable, doable, oh, doable for anyone. However, mana craft operates in preci on precise ratios, so studying and practicing are essential for efficient use of craft. Maintaining a campfire would be the easiest analogy. Analogy. Yeah. Wet branches and leaves won't catch fire, and rocks and dirt aren't good either. Just throwing in whatever you find isn't going to work. Mana craft is taking the proper feel, or in our case, mana, from the surroundings, the atmosphere, and producing the desired result. I think I'm starting to get it now. It sounds incredibly simple and intuitive, but just becoming a single crafter is really hard. You know, I, 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 this guy looks, what uniform does that look like? What uniform does that look like? Oh, it's, ah, I was about to say German uniform. It kind of looks like a German uniform. It almost looks like a German officer's uniform. Almost. 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 But not quite. Alright, at least that's what I thought when I saw it. Anyways. Hmm? Hey, you over there. Who are you all? What are you still doing here? The rest of the sh crew have already boarded the other ship. And you are? I'm the captain of the second crew. Ah, we're originally residents of the inner pool, so no worries. Please, stay at the ship on our course. What? Hey, are you really from the inner pool? We are. Well, technically one of us ain't, but I'd rather not get into the details. I can't believe you went to some meaningless, oh, meaningless hell hole like that. Just what the hell were you doing with sad bums like those? You pieces of shit. Two things. One, show some respect. We've got a princess and her guardian here. Two, we got someone who is from there. And we've just been there. And it was a nice place. So you piece of shit, you shut up. You three alright? Poor Rune. Is this what they call discrimination? You sure have a way with words. We're feeling somewhat ill because we overextended our stay. But what we did is none of your business. Hmm. <laughs> Captain slits, bits over the side of the vessel and glares at us in bewilderment. He stared at us as if thinking to himself he was a fool for asking. You piece of shit, we got a princess of the country. Was he really take that taken aback by our attitudes? Uh, we're in no position to pick a fight with him. Princess, excuse me. Oh, let's just say we've been through a lot. We're in your hands, Captain. Cap the captain leaves without a word and begins to issue orders to his crew. Not a single member of the crew spoke with us for the remainder of the voyage. What a bunch of discriminatory pieces of shit. The Rigale Knights, really. Hmm. Chapter 2 The First World Order. <sighs> How long have we been live streaming? A minute and 48 seconds. Oh, I think that's long enough. I hate to do this because I really want to continue. But we're saving. And, um, yep. <laughs> this, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you all very much for joining me on this Let's pl Let's Stream Let's Play of Fault Milestone 2. I'm so glad to be able to stream this again. To be able to play this again. And it is so good to be back. That was awesome. That beginning, just oh my god. God, this game is just, it's such a great game. I love this game. And 
I can't wait. Maybe tomorrow I'll do another quick one, but maybe not. But I digress. Anyways, I just saw something really funny on YouTube for a second. I'm looking at this thing, and it says right here, Idiot woman stops me from getting into my own garbage. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you all very much for joining me on this live stream of Fall Milestone. The too tall saying thank you. Stay safe. And have an awesome day.